One is a grown man with an encyclopedic knowledge of cinema. The other, a man-child raised by the more questionable corners of the internet. What happens when they each dive into something the other one loves? Find out on... The Man With No Brain! Okay, we are rolling. Ryan looks the most handsome today, so he gets the Handsome Boy Award. That's true. No! You did it, Ryan. Yay! I showered beforehand. <laughs> Excellent. I did too, but it was a while ago. I also showered today. <laughs> I used Axe body spray. That's not a shower. <laughs> that's, that's a shower. That's he also uses, a shower. He uses no. ass body spray, which means Tad no! just sits on his lap. And just farts. Oh, God. Just toots on him a bunch. <laughs> yeah. He sits on my chest to make fart sounds. Yeah. Okay, Ryan. Ryan, the floor is yours. You're in charge. Right. Take it away. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Man With No Brain, episode number five. Five. Episode five. We're doing things a little bit differently. We're switching things up, trying some new things. So as uh, normal, I'm Ryan Ziegler, and uh, I'm joined by Joe Buckley right there. Oh, hell yeah, people. How you doing? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a mm. weird month, let me tell you. Mm. And uh, if you're not familiar with us, uh, we all, our main channel is uh, Malevolent Movies. Oh yeah, uh, on YouTube, it's a channel where we do a lot of videos, uh, video movie reviews. We watch really bad movies, make fun of them. And there's a lot of good goops. Uh, we also have Midnight Myths and Mysteries, starring mm. Mr. Joe Buckley and Mr. Trevor, hey. uh, who, mm. who is our uh, oh shit, I forgot the title we were going to do uh, already. Examiner. He's our examiner, examiner of the evening. Yeah, he's our examiner today. He's going to be. Hanging out, kind of checking things out. Anytime Joe gets out of line, yeah, keep Joe in the back line, of the head. basically. Listen, I, I take a line, I jump over, I jump over three more lines, and then I cross that last one. That's how I do comedy. That's how I, I must approach it. And then we got to tackle you to get you back over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a football man. Yeah, it's like the 10 line like a football point, man. The 20 li- yard points, I, huh? 35 yards. All right, okay. There's a lot of good stuff on the level of movies. Uh, check Hell it out yeah, when yeah. this is done. Mm-hmm. Give it a like, hit, hit the bell so we you can be notified. Little, uh, we got a decent library. Yeah, at it's this like point. a treasure trove of content. <laughs> oh, and you, yeah. can, you can check out the Benevolent Buckley show. Ooh, also yeah. true, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Joe's the, the star, you know, star <laughs> of that. Yeah. I you tried know. my best. <laughs> I drank the yeah. potions. If if for nothing else, I have to give it up to Joe for drinking some of the most disgusting things I've oh, ever yeah. seen. Oh yeah, and, and I opened made. I opened up my throat and drank them. <sighs> yeah. Were, some of them were chunky. And due to the really strange things that are inside of the potions, that was probably the most nutrients Joe got that entire year. <laughs> probably. I don't believe that's true. I eat a lot of protein. I eat chicken. I eat beef. I eat pork. How about a vegetable, Joe? No, I don't eat greens. No greens for Bubby. I heard, Joe. Okay, okay. Speaking of chicken, I'm glad you brought it up. I heard that just before you showed up to do this uh, show, you wanted to swing by a grocery store and get like three pounds of chicken to eat. As we did the show. Yes, that may have been true. I thought it might provide some entertainment to the people if they see me with three pounds of chicken eating now, some of it. Joe, I have a question for you. And this is a serious question. Okay, what's that? Why is fried chicken your go-to move for a wacky time? Because you do this <laughs> all, you do this a lot. That's like your move is, <sighs> well, I just bring a bunch of fried chicken and I'll eat it. It's funny. Listen, listen, listen. So is it basically, because you're messy? Is it because you can't eat anything? Well, listen, listen. The crumbs He's a greasy boy. The, the crumbs add an element of humor. The grease Texture. adds an element of humor. You rip, you rip the skin and you, you go down it like that. That's funny. You take the bones, you crack them. You who, nom, nom, nom. who wants to Disgusting. hear and see you do that? I, I think some of the people on the channel might. I really well, do. If, okay. if they do, you can check out Malevolent Movies, the episode uh, Overlord, where we cover the movie Overlord. Because oh, yeah. it starts with Joe eating chicken really yeah. disgustingly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cold chicken, about, if yeah. I remember right. It was cold. It was very cold. It was frigid. We threw it in the freezer for a minute. God. Just the, the the way his one of his eyes got kind of glazed mm. over. The other eye was rolling around by itself, independent of itself. Yeah. As he sucked on that meat, the sucked the bell out like, the board. The yeah, breading's yeah, yeah. a little gray well, looking. I, I think it's got cold. like a new element to eating chicken. Like you could squeeze one of the breasts and just let the juice like dribble down onto a plate and just mm. like that. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be funny. And, Why are you like this? I, because I was dropped in my head as a child. I mean, Whatever. I know that's like kind of the whole point of the show, but like, why are you like this? I mean, a man cannot can only account for his own sins, not the sins of others. <laughs> Got me there. So, Joe, did you bring your bag of tricks, your bag of bits that you normally have? I don't. The, I don't write the bits. Shallow, shallow fanny pack size bag of bits that you have that you recycle <laughs> or and or again. That is absolutely not true. I have I have some fresh stand up comedy. Yeah, he came into oh, the house yeah. phone in hand. 
empty, yeah. other, otherwise empty handed. But I've got some, I've got some stories. I got some some things to say on this podcast. I'm prepared. I'm ready. Perfect, Joe. What have you been doing since the last time we recorded? Since episode four, we talked about uh, going on vacation. Uh, I did not go on vacation. I accidentally drank some mold. How did you accidentally drink some mold? Because I was drinking uh, some mio. It's called. It's basically droplets of flavor that you put in water sure. to enhance it. Um, and I guess I had that in an open container for about a week, and um, I took, I drank from it heavily, and then I noticed that there was like a bunch of globules of mold in the bottom of the container. <sighs> Hang on, uh, turn it back. Okay. You had so you had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I just need more context. Well, was it the mio, the little, the little bottle? Yeah, that those had old mold bottles. In it? No, no, not the bottle. Uh, like basically, I think that's what caused the mold because there's sugar and shit in there. But I poured it into oh. about a gallon of water. <clears throat> I see. Oh yeah, that was a that's a bad idea. Yeah, bud. it was because I drank some mold. Um, I said. So you think the mold came from the meal container? Yeah, I think so. Because water not itself doesn't. Res- no, not the receptacle. Well, I want to break it down. So there was three elements of yeah. this. Yeah. There was the receptacle. The receptacle. Yes. Receptacle. Yeah. One of those. Oh use. no. Yeah. Oh no. Ryan's forgetting words like Joe now. <laughs> Oh, God. Too much, I've had too way too much Joe in my ears the last three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So I can believe you it. You have the receptacle. You've got the water mm-hmm. and you've got the meal. Yes. The water can you? get mold in it, really, I don't think. So we okay, can cross so the that water off the was list. Fresh. No, it was, it was a week old water. It was week old. I mean, it's week old. I just don't think it can get molding it very easily. Now, I want to propose, Ryan, a fourth element mm. <laughs> Joe's toes. The, no, 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 no. The environment in which it was stored. Mm. Yeah, That's musty true. basement. Where, a musty basement. Yeah, dude. What are you. A musty, stinky basement. It's not stinky. All, it's it's you fresh do all The basement scene in. Um, um, perhaps un yet, well, uh, yet say, to be unreleased episode of Malevolent Movies. Oh, yeah. Well, I was gonna say Silence of the Lambs, like whenever she's just going through the dark, it's trying to shoot him. Yeah, it's similar. I've never been think, in your basement, but it looks close enough. I think you've seen it on the, on the episodes. I think we filmed it in my basement. I, I, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. But and here's the thing about Joe's basement: not only is it poorly lit, poorly <laughs> ventilated. Is. Yeah. Um, Joe's body f- skin mm. is probably always flaking. That's in the air, whether you can see it or not. So Absolutely it's kind of like it's kind of like the COVID. You no, know what I mean? it's not like the COVID. When you cough, <laughs> it you sneeze, you can't see it, but it's there. Mm. And that's the same goes for your back and your ass and your leg skin and your belly skin. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Everywhere. I'm gonna start a timer. So today, today is June is Monday, mm. June eighth. I don't want to date us. Oh, okay. But if I am not sick in 14 days, yeah, you're gonna be golden. I'm gonna count this as a miracle. No, it's not a miracle. I don't have the COVID. The only time I've ever gotten like super sick the last couple of years was. From literally from Joe because of our show. Yeah, we we I, we may have had to take like a our car ride to go see a bad movie we and things. Like I we was went, coughing and yeah, it was when we went to see I think Hellfest. That was probably we were sick yeah. or some. We went somewhere and we went to or maybe it was it might have been Overlord. It could have been. Come I to think know. of it, I don't know. Um, but I had to sit next to Joe for a lengthy car trip, and he was hacking and gacking the whole time. But I wore a, I wore a Pennywise mask to try to save you. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I was still like pressed against you yeah, in the backseat of somebody's yeah, yeah. car for about an hour, um, and then I was very sick for several weeks. Yeah. Other than accidentally drinking some mold, yes. Have you been up to literally anything other than playing GTA Five? I mean, I've I've been stealing some movies. I've been getting my Plex in order. Have you been watching? Those <laughs> no, movies? I have not been of watching course not. the movies. Why would you? You just steal them. Yes, I just want them on my hard drive where I can access them if I want. You steal these movies, Joe? He, he, and he he strives for that kind of freedom so he can never watch any of these yeah. movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just need to have them just sure. to make sure. sure I have it in case, like, if, if the bombs finally drop, I'm going to have Twilight of the Cockroaches with subtitles. Thank God for that. Yeah, he's a digital hoarder. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. I would there you go. You're a digital like hoarder. Yep. Which, which is an invisible an invisible affliction. Yeah. yeah. Because unlike hoarding physical things where, you know, Everyone can walk in your basement and see, oh, shit, yeah, there's, there's something going on here. newspaper and cum all over. Well, I think they would still have that Joe's reaction. Is just, <laughs> but for a different reason. Well, yeah, <laughs> Look at all those yeah, magic Joe's, cards all over. Well, that's that, that's his retirement fund. <laughs> Why does this picture of a hot woman have glue all over it? Mm. Anyway, you got, it looks like you got a haircut since, since the last time I saw a picture of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went to the, uh, the uh, haircut salon in Grand Ridge. I got myself a nice uh, bowl. Yep. So, Put the salad bowl on your head. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. <laughs> So sit up a little bit, Joe, because just so we the rest so we can see. No, up, not back, up, sit up, straight there, so we can kind of see a little bit of what's going on. Okay. Now, God, what do you when you go into your your the hairdresser? Okay. What do you now, tell it's him? Probably, yeah, yeah, it's the same person I met. It is. It is. So I they kind of usual... already know. 
<laughs> yeah. You're gonna give me the, the buckle. I just normally say like, uh, I just normally say like, yo, fuck me up. Really, <laughs> fuck, fuck my, my shit hair up. up. Yeah, just fuck my shit yeah. up, Irene. Well, Joe, I, Joe, I think you missed a great opportunity here by not growing your hair out and doing something different with it. Mm. Like you have, uh, you had a golden opportunity. Nobody was gonna see you anyways. You could have grown it out, gotten all gnarly, and then gone in there and said, you know what? Give me the Adam Lambert or something. <laughs> the Adam Sandler. I want my head to look like an egg. Or, or can we shave your head so it looks like you're balding or something? Mm, I don't think that would be a fun time for me. No. I mean, I think we'd have a lot of fun. I still yeah, want, I, him I to have the, would, okay. I want him to have the fryer tuck. Oh, yes, think the little like, just... tuncture or whatever I mean, it's he's called. got everything else. The ring yeah. of hair. Yeah, he's got everything else. He's got, I mean, all you would have to do is is cut the little spot right here and maybe cut in the back and you'd be all set. Mm. Your mother, any time that your mother said you were a handsome boy, you were, either, you were either A, a child, or B, she was lying. Or a man-child. There was one... Now, Tyler, I think, is the only other person that was there for this part. There was one fleeting glimpse of an incredibly – and this this is not a bit. This is not a goof. Tyler and I, during Butch of the Bakers, while we were prepping Joe's slippery, nasty scene um, where he got to be real gross, we saw a glimmer of a truly – very handsome young man. We a had his hair. Boy. We had his hair kind of pushed back a little bit, like uh, kind of like how Ryan and I have ours. It's gonna push back a little bit. Not fancy. Glasses were off, and there was this man in front of us. He's in like there. a young Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> and it just, you, Joe, it was like looking at a new person. Yeah, he's I, in I, there. I think the big problem with that is to get that look. Uh, my hair would require gel, and I will never gel my hair. It's not something I'm interested in. Well, hey, I'd rather be comfortable than look good. And I understand the the apprehension about gel. We got waxes. We got pom uh, pomades. It was, we you got options. Hairspray. Yeah, yeah. I just, just saying. I don't really like spray, things Joe. in my hair. Some hairspray. Some mousse. Maybe. Give it a little yeah, yeah, it's all oily. It's slick. It's giving a little like body. It. A little well, bit of volume, But I go Joe. to touch my hair and my fingers are all like oily. But Joe, that's the don't thing. Touch your if hair. you have that in there, you won't need to because it's not going to move as much. What about my comb? What about my comb? Joe, that's the beauty of it. You'll do it once in the morning and that's pretty much all you'll need now, to do. Now, I can't, I can't find the original photo, but I did find one I took of Joe probably only about a year and a half ago. See? There you go. Similar. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I don't oh, know. yeah. Look at that's, that. That's a, that's a handsome young fella right there. Look at that Buckley right there. I don't know. I have a hard time like visualizing myself in my head, so I basically just got the, the image I have of myself. So that doesn't even look like a person to me. That looks like a cool it looks movie. like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, okay. It, you know, cool it. Like a motorcyclist, maybe? More more bandanas, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Now's the time here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the whole COVID thing. Yeah. yeah. I want the rest of 2020 to be the year Joe discovers bandanas. In a big way. I want you wearing them around your neck. I want you putting them in your back pocket. I want you to, you know, put it like in your hair. Yeah. What's, uh, what's that thing that Fred from Scooby-Doo wears? That's an ascot. Yeah, I want to wear ascots. Hey, if you want to bring an ascot <laughs> back, I, I'm i I'm right here with you. Oh, yeah. I, I support this. We could be like the Venture Brothers. <laughs> sure. And yeah, then go, we'll go one further. Then after he transitions out of that, he can go to wearing the douchey, you know, Revenge of the Nerds jock. You know, sweater thing around the neck. How about like a nice beanie? I could be a beanie bro. Yeah, you can bring that back. Yeah. Joe, don't we have a topic today, Joe? Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, the, the topic today is uh, jobs we've had, jobs. Uh, different sources of employment. This should be a quick episode. Joe. <laughs> Absolutely not. I've got a lot here. No, but oh, you know what? That's true. It, 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 this is open for any kind of job, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Grammy jobs so, included. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, okay. Yeah, sucking dirt out of a gutter. Yeah, yeah that's a job. You know, any anything Jesus. Joe did that he received um, written now real pay. Some kind of pay. Now real pay. Are we going? Yep. Uh, I'm, are we going to count where you were working for how many years? At the arcade, and you were paid. Yeah, the, were... yeah, I'm gonna count that. Yeah, I've got some stories. So from you're that. gonna count that as a job, even though you weren't paid money. Well, I'll go into it. I'll go into it. But I was you, paid. It was in... more of a barter, maybe with yeah, an asterisk yeah. next to it. Well, yeah, I was. I was paid in the gathering card, so that's good enough for me. All right. Well, we'll start off, Joe, because uh, I'm interested. What was the very first time that you remember in your lifetime that you were paid for a service, a job, so to speak? I mean, that would. That would probably be like doing like chores as like a like a eight year old. Like you're like, hey mm. mom, I really want money to go buy mighty beans. I need more mighty beans. <laughs> so you did. And she'd have, be like, you did have chores in as a kid. Not really. No, I would ask specifically for work to do in in exchange for money. But I didn't okay. have to do anything. So you as a child. so you didn't have like a you didn't have like a weekly allowance. No, no, it wasn't like, like that. a hey, you take the trash out, you maybe mow the lawn, do the dishes. A certain amount of times, you get ten dollars a week. I it was. Yeah. I want. To buy mighty beans, and uh, the Buckley said, "Okay, sure." 
here are some things we need you to do. Yes. Do these. We'll give you the money and get it. I don't want that. Can I just have Mighty Beans? No. What are Mighty Beans? What are Mighty Beans? Uh, a Mighty <laughs> yeah. Bean. Yeah, what are Mighty Beans? So a Mighty Bean, it's this cool little ca- plastic capsule with like a wacky face on it. Maybe it'll be like a werewolf with a Q-tip in his ear. And it's got a metal ball bearing in one end of it. And you flip it on the table and it does little somersaults. Oh, shit. I never heard of it. Yeah, and there were thousands of different ones to collect. So yeah, I Mighty had to beans. get them all oh, like Pokemon. these things. Were they big okay. for a long time? What time? What era was it? What year was it? Uh, probably 2003. I was probably nine just playing with my BBs. <laughs> Furthermore, Moose Enterprises has portrayed several famous celebrities in the shape of their toy, including Elvis Presley, Hulk Hogan, and Steve Irwin. I want a Steve Irwin being with a stingray in his chest. Joe, why do you have to do that? Always. It's always going to be that way. You can't reference Steve Irwin. Steve, Ir- or Steve Irwin. I'm making people up. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. <laughs> it's an it's an incredibly funny way to die for someone who like tamed lions. He got stung by like a thing for that they let children. For someone who tamed lions, I'm sorry, Joe. Can you hit me that well, again? He 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 dealt Crocodiles, with lions. Crocodiles, sir. But he also messed with lions, right? What else do you know about him, Joe? What else do you know about him other than the, the way I, he died? He made two bad movies. Uh, he helped out he animals. He made one movie. Did you see the movie? I don't need to. You know no, who did also see the movie? Second. There's you know also who did? a second Crocodile Dundee. You know who did? Who's that? You? Me. Okay. Oh, opening day. Okay. I was 12 years old, and I was fucking yeah. psyched to you see were, You were the in crocodile. love with Dundee. <laughs> it's not Dundee. Hang on. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Are you conflating oh, Crocodile Dunder with Paul Hogan? Yeah, I think I may have. Crocodile Dundee, Joe. The movie Crocodile. That's not a knife. That's a knife. I may have got those two people confused. What did you do when you went chorning uh, for your I, allowance? I believe I may have mowed the lawn with like the mower that barely worked, so I had to push okay. it. Was it a gas mower? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was one of those old-timey, just spins around. Oh, no, that. no, not one of those. The Amish plow, as they call it. <laughs> and an Amish plow is also what they call it whenever a 50-year-old. All right, old all right, daughter. okay. An I Amish plow. I smell that one coming. Okay. I assume the Buckleys were just down there with a pair of scissors cutting the grass Scissor. that way. <laughs> You know what, though? The Amish got good orange soda, orange cream soda and shit. I've had some of that. No, good for them. So other than chores, <clears throat> they were paid for. What was the first time that you actually were employed employed? You filled out tax form. No, I, I detasseled corn when I was probably about 15. You detasseled corn? I did, yeah. As Holy did I, shit. You, know. you did too. Yeah. Damn, I'm the only one on here. Didn't do that. Oh, yeah. I only did it for three yeah. days. I got fired probably two to three weeks in. You got fired? What'd you do? Oh, yeah. What'd you do? Well, they said they said I wasn't uh, going around on the dirt on my hands and knees to get the tassels good enough, so I got oh, fired. Oh, shit. No, so, okay, yeah. with the t- anyone that's not familiar that may be watching this that doesn't live where there's corn, detasseling is a job that kids can get, uh, like in Illinois and Iowa and stuff like that, and you're paid minimum wage or maybe not too much more. Yeah, uh, and, I think it's less than that. I think they get, like, an exemption where they don't even but it's, have to it's, pay minimum. it's decent. It, uh, like, it's – and kids is, like, young teens. Yeah, well, in, no, 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 14 year olds. Like no, in normal. Illinois, it's actually, it's actually legal for 10-year-olds to do it. Really? Yes, it's yeah, a, you can be 10 years old and working in the fields. Yeah, it's the kind of job you get sure. when you're not old enough to get a job job, like you can't work at the mall or something. You can work to tasseling. Yeah. And essentially, yeah, it's, like, just, it's cool government subsidized child slavery. They kind of. You just walk down the rows of corn, and there are tassels that stick out of the top of yep. the, uh, the stocks, and you just pull them out. Yeah, that's you it. pluck them. I mean, it's simple in theory, but that's hard fucking work. No, because it's, it's always it's like usually in the summer, like yeah. late summer, right? Yeah, and you yeah. and summer. you've got to wear like um like long pants and yeah, because the corn will cut you up. Because it'll yeah. cut you. It's rough. Yeah, yeah. You start early in the morning. So you'd start, you know, yeah, like sure. 6 a.m. Yeah, we'd go. It, the, our meeting place was at the high school, so I go to the high school, and you get on, the, and you, you get on the bus, and the bus would take you out to whatever field you were going to tassel. And it was, you know, daybreak. It was dawn. It was still dark. So the corn is is wet because oh, from yeah. the dew. It's oh, a big yeah. pain in the ass. Yeah. So and you know you have long sleeves on to stop yourself from getting cut. You might have a bandana and a hat and whatever, and then you start going through the rows, and you get soaked. Because oh, of yeah. the dew. Yeah, cold and just cold. And it's actually pretty cold. But then as the sun starts, yeah. this dry. Mm. You just burn. You start to dry in the stinky corn water. You just look like a big blister. <laughs> and Stinky corn water. And it's, yeah. So you're all stiff because it's just weird. And then your clothes are all stiff. And then it starts getting hot. And you want to roll up your sleeves. But you got to be careful you don't cut yourself on yeah, you the leaves. And then on top of that, there are these fucking spiders. I've mm-hmm. seen the Ooh. shit that I saw in that corn, and I only did it for oh. three days. The Let sh- me tell you, there weren't even any children in that corn, and I was scared. The shit that I, the, the spiders and the weird bugs that I saw 
in that goddamn rose, I tell you. Yeah, there was a bunch of cool, like, shattered bottles and, like, bottle caps in mine, and they wanted me to go on my hands and knees to pick up tassels. So. And where were you that detasseling? That was the end of it for me. Was this in Grand Ridge? Or uh, in no, the it was area like a bus somewhere? situation. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, something like sure. that. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason I detasseled in the first place is there was a girl that I was, like, kind of dating in high school, whatever, and she was going to detassel. And she's like, hey, if you come to the meeting, if you just go to the meeting, and listen, all, and they'll pay you money. I don't know, it was like 50 bucks or something. So I thought, hell yeah, man, I'll go to the, I'll go to the meeting. I'll check it out. So I brought my friend with me, and we all went to the meeting. We all got paid, and then I actually signed up. I was like, ah, that sounds like a good gig, whatever. I, I did it on a Sunday, a Monday, and a Wednesday. Because the way they did it was they would call you the night before. So you'd get a call like 5 o'clock the night before. Hey, you, are you good to detach tomorrow? Yes or no? You could say no if you didn't want to. So you'd say, yeah, yes. And they go, okay, meet at the high school or whatever the place was at 5 o'clock. So that's what I did. I did a Sunday, I did it a Monday, and then I did it uh, 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 Wednesday. I skipped Tuesday, and then after Wednesday, I was like, nah. Oh, yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm done. As a, as a yeah, 15-year-old. It was so yeah. high. It was just such a miserable-ass job. And on top of that, I was I'm still fairly short, but I was even shorter then because this was like no, junior year in high school or before my junior year, actually. And I couldn't reach the task oh, really? necessarily because the court at that point yeah, you know, was – and so what I would do, I was I'd grab the tassel, I'd yank down, and probably every fifteen or so, I'd break the fucking stock. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially ruining the fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I didn't give a shit. Ah, what fuck it. I also just I I would just go through real fast and only get like maybe a third of them too. So that's also why they fired me because I just wasn't doing it. I was just terrible at it. And you, and the thing is, at least when I did it, you had a, like a team leader, which was usually a kid that was a little bit older. But it's still a kid that's been doing a couple of years, and he'd be writing. They would have like uh, I don't know what they call it. It was I'm not a farmer, some smart fucking farm equipment. They'd be on the equipment and be yelling a combine at combine or something. Yeah, they'd or, be following yeah. and yelling at you. You're missing, you know, you're missing something. You're missing this stock. You're breaking this fucking stock. And I was just like, I'm not going to be yelled at by douchebag from PE yeah, class. Yeah, three dollars an hour <laughs> and get cut up. And it's fucking summertime. This sucks. I did it for three days and and I, and I was out. No, I couldn't. No, I, I, could I made never. it. I made it for about two or three weeks, but they didn't like have enough water for all the kids, and it was just a shithole. Joe was trying to wash his hands after every tassel. Oh, okay. so yeah, I'm using gallons and gallons of water. Like I, I sucked up the entire city's water supply in a day just trying to get corn off Joe my face. Joe was more grossed out by actual seeing corn, cobs of corn, because yeah, he hates vegetables. Than he I wants. hate it. I hate greens. Is this why you don't eat greens? <laughs> that that could be. Spoiled? That could be some of the reasons. Did you yeah. ever see? We're gonna crack this. Did you ever see anyone get cut? On one of the leaves? Uh, oh, yeah, all the time. Uh, yeah. We had a kid, the, it was the second day I did it. Yeah, it's like a massacre. It's like a cornfield, ch- a Grand Ridge cornfield they massacre. Had to, they had to call the uh, they had to call the, the ambulance. A kid got caught <laughs> yeah. in his arm. He was bleeding profusely. And that was another oh, yeah. reason. Yeah, he's going to bleed out. Hey, this 10-year-old's going to bleed out. Throw him in the back so we don't get caught. <laughs> well, well, it's funny because, uh, and then what, what, at least in, in when I did it, uh, it was mostly kids. It was most, mostly, you know, high school kids and younger and stuff but there was one guy 35 and i don't know if he had a d i don't know if he was an ex-con <laughs> or if he had a dui but he was probably he had to be close to 30 you know in my mind and he, he certainly wasn't a high school he was kid. cool he was smoking cigarettes he, well yeah he was smoking he was ta- he, he, I, he's definitely an uh, adult with all these kids and even then i was like what the fuck is this guy doing here doing this job when he could go out and work at the factory get a job job why is he detached? You know, and, I, and the funny thing is, for years I would see that guy walking around town. There he is. Uh, years, 10, 15 years later, I'd see the guy walk around town smoking, and I think it's a detached guy. I mean, so nothing he ever does in his life. I will ever, will ever change my well, no, no, the tassel guy. Yeah, it's because he's on the street and he's just phantomiming, like pulling out tassels of the corn. <laughs> ooh, sure. Ooh, he's at Burger King doing this. Yeah. <laughs> now some kids. Got to ride. They had. Uh, yeah, where, yeah. What I know what you're talking that? about. Um, we never had machines. They put the bags, poll- oh, pollinated, yes. pollinated, mm. where they would put the bags over the ta- over the top of the corn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let me tell you, I'll oh. pollinate some goddamn corn if you know what I mean. Unzip my jeans, go. Uh, uh, yeah, so, the corn right, pollinated. Right, for right, simmer right, down. Right, right. What? What? I'm, what? what? I'm down. killing this now. No, that's a cool joke. <laughs> it's not. I also I did micro tests online to get Amazon gift cards. That does not count. It does. It no, does. that does not count. Like basically, what you could do is you could have a, you have a website where like video ads autoplay on your computer, and you get a fraction of a penny each time you watch one. So you could just leave that running and get like fifty cents. That's not a job. That's just an app. I got an app on my phone that if I walk by a fucking steak and shake, I may <laughs> get, get a ping cents. and I'll get a free 
large fry or something Ooh. if I do it. Yeah, that's not a job. That's not a job. Wait, 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 Ryan, Ryan, you telling that's me a, you got free large fry steak a, and shake coupons? That's a perk. I. It's an example. Now, listen, okay, okay. Simmer I like those fries. Settle down. Bring, bring it down. Okay, bring it down. Joe, look, look at that bird out there. I don't want to distract <laughs> you, but. Uh, ah, that's like a shitty just, robin or something. That is a that is a fine robin. No, fuck him. Don't fuck him up his bird ass. So Joe, <laughs> he right. shits and makes you, eggs you out of the same hole. Up. Fuck him. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> you detect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> you you stop that. You're 15 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I'm gonna create a timeline. Okay. 15 years old, you the tassel for three weeks. They give you the boot because you're worthless. Yep, then, yep, yep. That sounds about right. What what age were you when you got another job? And I don't mean this internet shit. I mean a job where you applied, again, taxes, you have a boss. You have to actually leave your home and work. Was that when you worked for so, the city? I mean, that th- legally, that would have been when I worked for the city. For yes. the city, okay. Yeah. Which was summer 2018? Yeah, it was like maybe a year ago, you two years ago, two years something ago? like that. So how old were you? I mean, I would have been like twenty three or so, maybe twenty four. <laughs> I don't know. so fifteen to twenty three eight- is just uh, living life. Well, I an eight year gap. I do have an eight year gap in my resume. Yeah, he's doing time. <laughs> in the basement. Yeah, I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Why did you not seek any sort of employment? Well, I mean, basically, in my viewpoint, I mean, jobs are just shit. I mean, there's no getting around that. Some of them are, sure. Yeah, and I've had my share. No, but... I think, like, working in general is just shit. It sucks, yes, but you need money. Well, I didn't need money at the point, you know? so well, that's that, why I didn't do it. That's, that's the thing is it's it's not just eight years. We it, You have to have the context of 15 years old to 23 years old is a pretty – apathetic time period i'd mm-hmm. like to think in a lot of people's lives yeah, yeah but yeah. joe chose <laughs> being apathetic is the thing he was gonna run with <laughs> yeah that's going to be my employment yeah 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 and it was partly you know it's because we partly got to put the blame on his folks mm-hmm. yeah because it, 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 it never felt like they were pushing you no never. in any way shape or they form. enabled no 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 they don't, they, they don't care there was zero pressure no no it was great yeah yeah i and, could and, just lay in my filth and again, it, the I can kind of excuse the portion of that time when you're still in high school, but as soon as you're out of high school, you did you start college then? Too? Yeah, I did uh, three years at IVCC. I got my uh, associates. I got yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it took me three years to get to your degree. That's okay. <laughs> Everybody uh, matures differently. See, this is where things fall apart. <laughs> yeah, this is where things start looking I mean, for real bad for you, Joe. Because yeah. basically, by the end of my college education, I was just completely done with school. I was sick of it. I wasn't turning in any work. It's um, true. So I, slid I knew by. You at that point. Yeah, yeah. I slid by and got basically D's and passed, and that was the end of uh, my college years. D's get degree. Hell yeah. But no, no. I mean, because I, I got, I had no bills, so there was no need for me to go get a job. I didn't have a car, so I didn't have to pay for gas. So why would I work? Then? But didn't you, didn't you want to like do have something to do? Well, no, no, because least? I think, I mean, because work, it's just awful. But it can be fun, not really, to a certain degree when you make friends there. I think I strongly think that Joe has not found a job. That works for him. I believe, <laughs> I seriously, I do think there is the right job mm-hmm. for Joe. Okay. Um, and he's just being a real bitch about mm, fucking okay. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because basically, I mean, you would, like in every version of the future we saw in like the 1950s or whatever, everything was basically automated. Nobody had to do nothing. And Joe's and hoping what, for that still. Well, no, instead what happened is the automation happened and then the companies just kept it all. So we still have to work shit jobs, even though society's progressed past the point of most labor. We're in a post-work world. Yeah, we're in a post-labor environment. No, we're not, Joe. We basically are. Star Trek is post-labor environment. But we could, we could cut out 30% of all jobs that exist and nothing would change. Nothing would happen. What jobs? What first, jobs? Folks. What jobs? Yeah, yeah, like what? Give, me, give me five well, right Well, look now. at look at. Give Look at trucking. Right we've got okay. We've got self-driving cars. We don't need truckers. But to you're drive. no, 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 no. You said cut That's out. That's what I'm saying. Automation is replacing everything. Transportation still is necessary. You just want to cut out the human element. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, cut out the human element. We're not, I don't believe yeah. we're but there. But somebody yet. would be getting paid for that. So you'd have a company that makes these trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there would probably just like we have now. You have different trucking. I, I ran a shipping receiving department for like three fucking years. I, do you have all of these different trucking companies? So you maybe get rid of the human element, but you're still going to have people making money, contracts, trucking companies, even if they're automated. No, no, no. You do have some element of that, yeah, but it's just a lot less. I mean, what? There's 500 people making trucks. There's 50,000 who no longer have to drive them. 
Where do you get any? I of don't that? know. I just pull numbers out of my ass. Sure, no, that's but, fair. Yeah, you... right, give me give me another job that we can completely eliminate. Cashiers. There's no need for it. Can all that... be self checkout. I. There's absolutely no reason for there to be a cashier he's anywhere kind, in any he's store. He's kind of got a point here. Yeah. What else? What else? I mean, basically, uh, let me think. Because um, you're, you're put. Well, you're, I'm on the spot here. You said it. What is it? Thirty percent of jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you have to come up with two. So <laughs> two far. is decent. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, I just think like, do we really need a place for you to go buy like novelty cupcakes? I'd say just bakeries. Burn it down. Small business bakeries. Well, is that what you sure, like, you, was that what you mean? Because where does one go to buy novelty cupcakes? That's a bakery. Are you talking, well, he's he's talking about like a high end. Yeah, I'm boutique-y. thinking a high boutique cupcakes. He's, he's thinking of that, that, that one place he drove past once in Chicago. Oh, Molly's cupcakes. Molly's, yes. Yeah, I like. Yeah, but you like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't need this. Ooh, I like that place. Yeah. Make up your mind, Joe. But those places, those places, are probably. Oh, it's a yeah, very small. Amount. Yeah, it's a very small amount of things. It's being run by people who want to be doing it. It's their yeah. business. It's I can't small. imagine the people making cupcakes want to be making cupcakes. The person yeah, who owns why else the business because they gotta make money. They gotta eat. How do you? Well, how? Yeah, but it's like the bake. Uh, like, okay, for instance, the bakery here in Ottawa. Yeah. Is owned and operated, <laughs> but she owns it. Yeah. Runs it Sounds and nice. is the primary baker. Okay. That is her passion. That is what she wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. And she. That's why she's a made baker. a bakery. Exactly. There is no like big, big no. there's no fat cat it's sitting in an office somewhere like, yeah, yeah, the Ottawa baker's got to crank yeah. out 50 more cupcakes today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what, what's your point here, Jim? <laughs> I, I just hate jobs. It's shit. You're lazy. He doesn't want No, I'm I not mean, necessarily yeah. lazy. I'm not, just I'm say, not lazy. Just I just say, hate work. Joe. I, yes, you are. No, I don't hate all work. I don't hate all. You work. are the laziest person I've ever known. What's what's what kind I of like work? Working do you on like? movies. In, in in what capacity? <laughs> but that's not work, Joe, because you don't do anything on the movie. No, no, I. You stand around. No, no, yeah, no. you offer you offer the basic help. Oh, can I help carry this? Can I guard the camera truck? No. Hey, Tyler, what time do you want me to come over and sit and bother him while he's no, doing that? No, no, no. Editing. It's he's an assistant. You, I, Absolutely you not. That's there. not true. I have held microphones. I've I've hauled a, but I've, ultimately i've uh moved joe, equipment ultimately yes ultimately and i don't want to turn this into a attack joke okay. but i'm just trying to get down to the core to get you to admit you hate jobs oh i do hate because jobs. one because one you've not been put into a position where you actually have to fend for yourself financially yeah well no that would so make me have, hate jobs even like, worse whatever. i think but also you're a lazy person because even when you're not working you're not doing anything you don't do a whole lot. A lot of the stuff you do involves sitting no, or looking no. at something. No. It's okay, Joe. Just say it. I never say get to sit. You're sitting Please. right now, Joe. But this isn't a job. No, what I'm saying is it, it, employment. I never get to sit. Well, that's because you you, you don't have a, a degree that's going to get you a job where you could sit doing something you actually like to do. Yes. Go 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 get a communications degree. <laughs> oh, and I could go talk well? Sure. Okay. You could have a better chance at doing something with your mouth that you love to do. Because you have an interest in communications. Well, I mean, I've got, I've got like an interest in media. I've got like an interest in podcasting or something. But that's not exactly. communications. You don't need you know, a, a degree to podcast. You do not need a degree to get, we'll say like a radio job or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. However, if you apply to a job like that, and you hand in a resume that's, oh, uh, yeah, I really like all this stuff. I love podcasts. Yeah, I'll, I can do it. Versus, hey, here's the same degree, and I have a, de- I have an, a- or here's the same resume with a degree, roughly in this field that will show them you can do something and stick to it and accomplish something. Yeah, it may not necessarily be like, oh, well, you're not going to know how to do this stuff, but it, 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 part of it proves to the employers that you can follow through and complete something oh, okay. long term okay. mm-hmm. but what, what if instead i just hand in a mic check where i'm making jokes on a, on a toilet and just shitting <laughs> and well, That'd you, be know what? Funny. you know what joe mic check yeah. you're half right it's called an air check okay that's okay. the, <laughs> that's the all right, all right, industry all right. term for a demo tape essentially I, okay. um if you're a small market a small town like you're in Okay, yeah. and you get an in, let's say, because yeah, you're a yeah, butcher yeah. of the bakers or because you know me or you know this guy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. there's an yeah. opening. Sean, there's somebody like that. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. there's an opening, and a small market is looking for something, and they're looking for talent, and they don't want to necessarily have to go out and go through the jump through the hoops. That means I got to find talent out there in America, pay for their moving expenses, do all that kind of shit. Yes, then you may get a shot with a yeah. simple uh, air check. 
you may get a shot at that. But in general, it, with broadcast communications, that sort of thing, if at least, because I actually went to school for that when I was 17. I went to, to a, it was called AIC at the time. I don't know what it's called now. And I took radio class. called ASS. And I took radio, I took radio <laughs> See, class. That's a good one. And what radio classes did for me is it put me in front of a console. It made me work on commercials. It gave me hands-on experience. And on top of that, it put me in position to meet other people in that market. Oh, yeah, yeah, That, yeah. that radio yeah. station was at, I, which yeah. got me my foot in the door, which got me doing board op work, which is just pushing buttons, you know, and, that, and then you can move on from there. I mean, basically, most people say that the, the big plus of getting any kind of media degree is, is only the connections you make. The actual degree, for the most part, is pretty worthless. I, I would, you know, I can't disagree yeah. with that because it is, yeah. you know, and then also talent. Talent yeah, yeah, yeah. for whatever you want to do. I don't know do. if I got any of that. So, well. Joe, what are you arguing for? Because you're saying it's not worth it for you to go back to college because there's a, a, a few loose opportunities that you're not, you can't bank on. But also, you talk about how you don't need a degree to podcast, yet you don't do jack fucking shit. <laughs> Even though you've got a fucking microphone at home, you could be talking at any point in time. I have, you say, Tyler, I, Tyler, I want to do a podcast. And then I have yeah. to call Ryan. I have to call Trevor. I have to pay for the fucking equipment well, with the job that I got because of the degree I have. What are you arguing for? And you know how I, he does it, Joe? You know how he does it? Through the paycheck? Sitting down. We're not to the Wally part of uh, our society mm, yet. Like, okay. you will need to, like, get up and walk around. Damn. Period. Shit. That's disgusting. <laughs> you realize that, right? Um, I mean, I'm basically just trying to blank on. I don't really want to do it. Why should I have to move? That's the thing. You're lazy. No, I'm, it's not laziness. No, it's not laziness. I just don't want to move or work <laughs> You're lazy. or like get up out of a chair. Talk to people that I don't know. We need to get back on the hard facts instead of just trying to force Joe to get a job. <laughs> Joe. So the last one we spoke of yeah. was um, when we entered your life, roughly You're about 22, 23 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because yeah, River City next, was like 2015. River City Panic, we shot summer 2014. Oh, five 15, years. Okay. Um, Grace's Room was 20, summer 2015. And yeah, then that's Butcher where the I Bakers, really came onto it. That's when Joe transformed into this fucking thing. A social thing. butterfly. Uh -huh. And then 26, summer 2016 is when yeah. we all shot Butch of the Bakers. Yeah. 2017 is still nothing. No, You're still just no. kind of hanging out. <laughs> no, I bet, no, yeah, I prefer to keep quiet in my basement. Summer 2018 is when we start doing Malevolent Movies. Yeah, we start the YouTube channel. Malevolent Matinee. Um, in between there, wintertime 2018 is when you did Bene uh, Benevolent Buckley. I remember I was there. Ryan was there too, I think. When you got the call that yeah. you got the job yeah, yeah, yeah. at the Roxy, you're dressed up like a clown. <laughs> yeah. You're dressed up like a clown. You oh, that's right, that's right. It was like the, what was it? It was like... We were shooting the uh, the Halloween Witches episode. Brew. Oh, yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. But we shot it early. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, no, this is... The, the, the time on the episode I got the job, that was, I think, uh, the whenever I worked for the city, that was first. Yeah, we were... Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, because the phone call that you got during Witches Brew, where he's dressed as the clown and his belly button was open, that was... Because I accidentally that ripped was my costume. Roxy, that was the Roxy call. Um, but before we that... Did, now, yeah. we did celebrate... You getting the city job yeah. Yeah. on the episode because that was sort of – we opened the episode. We had poppers. Yeah, yeah. I remember everything. that. Streamers, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you guys a video from the city job that I had. Oh. Because, yeah, I, got, I found this, this on good. somebody's personal Facebook. It's an entire main street of an edged grass along the road. It's been here for two days. Just left it. That was it. What the fuck was that? 13 seconds. Yeah, it wasn't much. But it was somebody on Facebook complaining because basically the streets were so full of dirt that we had to get like a, one of those big like construction things with a bucket on it to try to scoop up dirt. Oh, you know? sure. Yep. And I guess he left too much dirt on the street for his liking. So he made a Facebook video about okay. it. It's like Good some man. old fat guy. And that was your fault? Yeah, yeah that was my fault. Yeah. You're famous, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I dug up that entirety of Main Street. And yeah, with that job, I could only make $600, an, uh, $600 not an hour. 
But 600 in oh, total. Oh, for like the season, right? Well, yeah, for that year. Or else they would have right. had to pay me benefits, which they weren't willing to do. <clears throat> That's right. And then you were let go once you hit that. Yeah. Correct? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't even know if I hit it because it was close enough where I probably got the Roxy drop at that point, And so I probably didn't even finish it up to 600. What was it like working at a theater? This, I thought, was going to be a slam dunk for you. No, no, it was pretty bad. Yeah, because you, because you, every the people that were aware of you, they knew you because Bridget yeah. the Bakers had premiered there mm-hmm. at the very least. Yeah, you yeah, had yeah. been there. You had hung out there socially a million times. The people there were fine. I mean, the problem was working at a theater. What didn't you like? What was now, the this? Is, yeah, this I'm very curious because I had literally yeah, this you got the job. Same job. Yeah, I did. I worked the same job at the same theater. What didn't you like about it? Well, you. Be, you just stand around all day taking orders from morbidly obese people who don't like you. <laughs> You're morbidly obese. So, it's okay, Joe. So are they. I mean, it's just, it's not fulfilling in any way. Yeah, Roxy's got its problems. Oh, yeah. God knows. I know the problems there. But the thing that I find funny that you hate about it isn't like, ah, I didn't get paid well, or, ah, it's really hot upstairs and you have to go work up there. Or, eh, the theater's kind of crummy. <laughs> it's, no, I just hate, um, you know, standing around, doing my job, <laughs> yeah. uh, giving people snacks, yeah. you know, movie theater shit. Yeah, I don't like doing the job. It's awful. You didn't like doing the job. Why would you like it? Yeah. What did you expect though? What's Why fun? would you like it? Because you get to go to a different place. You get to you get to spend time with different people. You get to bring happiness to people, other people, by running a movie. Mm-hmm. People go to the movies to be entertained, mm-hmm. and you you find absolutely zero yeah, enjoyment out of. No. Okay, well there you go. And Joe, there you go, folks. He's. It was a social thing for you, a positive social thing for you, because I can count at least once or twice that people from the Spike and a ra- speaking of radio station. Oh, yeah. you became known yeah. and friendly with everybody that worked at the radio station that I was working at, and. Yeah. There were social media posts of, hey, look who it is from Butcher the Bakers, and people taking selfies yeah, yeah, with yeah. you and tagging you. In. Local no, no, celebrity, yeah, that was Joe fun. Buck. That was that fun. Was fun. Y- y- yeah. That wouldn't have happened. But that doesn't mean the job was fun. No, but no, no jobs like that are going to be fun. That is my point. Okay, but there. Yeah, sure, there's worse jobs. You could be digging out a sewer tent in the middle of shit. Sure, that'd be worse. Be that doesn't mean it's this is fun. It's just your expectations yeah. of what employment is like that baffles us and make us slap our heads because, you know, most of those kind of jobs, and I've met a million of them, you know, medial kind of job, retail, service industry jobs, suck. The job itself sucks. But Yeah, absolutely. What, you, you find something in it that's positive. Either you make friends with people you work with or you goof around or you get perks and like you got free movies. and you. I, Joe, I never took advantage of Buckley, that. I never took advantage of that. You took advantage of from bags of fucking cheese. Well, I How many bags guessed- of cheese? How many bags of cheese did you take home uh, from that shop? They Buckley? were they were not allowed to have open containers of cheese anymore, so I got about probably three pounds of cheese for free. There yeah, you go. so it, there's a positive. How many other people can say they got ba- who, how many other people who value bags mm. of cheese? Yeah, yeah, can say they got. It's like a currency bags in the cheese. wasteland of Grand Ridge. So it wasn't the worst thing ever. No, your problems. I think a lot of the problems that you have with that job are not necessarily inherent with that job. Well, it's the fact that I like have to do the working, job. Period. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And you're, if you if you feel that way, you're going to feel that way about every job. But I'll tell you this: even jobs that you enjoy, a radio station job, feels like fucking work after oh, yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know. It feels ups like and work. Downs. It feels like better than other places. You got to get past the, you know, hating a job just because it's a job. Work. Mm, yeah. You know, even a podcast, Joe. If you somehow got a professional podcast, oh yeah, it'd be. A, I won't even want to talk about my cum some days. It'd be awful. And it would be. Let's, and let's say it was every day and you had to prep material. Ooh, yeah. You may think to yourself, oh, that's fun. But you would have a producer. You'd have people telling yeah. you, well, you do have to keep certain shit on task, whether it's a guest or so you can't just do the same shit every day. Well, today I'm just going to talk about Elder Osby. I'm going to do the same five jokes. You wouldn't be able to do that. And so it would feel like work because you'd be doing prep. And it feels like a job. You'd be stressed out. The night before, you'd be like, fuck, I got nothing to talk about yeah. tomorrow. Quick, I'm going to have to go watch a documentary. I mean, it would be work. You would have yeah. to do yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. No, I, I understand that. Yeah, I understand that aspect of it. You just don't like it. <laughs> no, yeah, I just hate it. Okay. I want to do a little thought experiment here with Joe. Mm, okay. Now, you cannot say nothing for, as your answer. What would be your dream job? You have to pick a job. Mm. I'm Genuinely, I'm curious. Yeah. What would it be? Like, uh, I would mean, it be a podcast type thing? I think maybe something like that yeah i mean if i could be just like a uh independent actor that'd be nice I, you wouldn't have to deal with like the, the whole hollywood headache so you could just do like low budget 
like horror movies and get paid off of that. That'd be nice. That's a lot of work. That would be. And okay. It's nice, but they, that is yeah. a lot of work. And that is very um, niche. Not impossible, but incredibly difficult. I mean, I'd also like to do just like comedy podcasts. Like, I mean, that's fun. That is, yeah. Again, yeah. and that's something that is not impossible, but highly improbable and yeah. takes. Well, I mean, the, I mean, the good thing of it is anyone can start a comedy podcast, which is what we're doing. But in order for it to take off, I mean, that's where it's got to be lucky. funny. It's got to no, be fun. I'm fu- I can funny, be funny and consistent. I can be funny sometimes. Also, we haven't we haven't brought it up. How, how, um, how are you still? Are you going back to the Roxy? Uh, things are opening up here. Oh, yeah, Quarantine's yeah, yeah. just about uh, done. What's, Roxy, what's going on with the Roxy? Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be opening up uh, pretty soon, and they sent me a email that I am terminated. But so I won't be going. But that uh, you could. You're in good standing. You could reapply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna do that? No, probably not. Why? Uh, well, I'm gonna be on unemployment for the next four months. Okay. Well, Tyler's shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if that's to correct you and say no or just it's disappointment. Just, shame. It's just, just shame. okay, good. That's what I was hoping. Oh, wow, okay. Ra- Joe, go for it, Ryan. Take him out, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> one could say, and you know, one could say that that is unemployment fraud. No, I don't think so. Because you're no hold up. Ryan's on to something here. You've been offered an up. Does the email say the job has been terminated, but you can reapply? I could reapply under my own choice. Yes, later. That is not an opportunity. Told, but, they, but, but they told you that. They told you that. Yeah, it's in the email. Yes. In so the, yes. Okay. Okay. So if you go to your unemployment, and I know right now with COVID and everything, they're not asking you necessarily. Yeah. At least not. They're not asking you, hey, where you've applied. Usually with unemployment, every you two weeks or whatever. Every, that you've been. Looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done this before. No, no, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. And if you turned down good work, and they find out about hmm. it, well, it's not. It's not turning down. Fraud. It's just not applying. That is turning down. No, it's not because they haven't offered so, me anything. I'm just saying, Joe. I'm just saying. We're just saying here. I, I mean, I would need to be offered a job again, basically. Uh, I've been searching. I'll put down on my work search firm that I've been offering to join other people's podcasts. But I can guarantee you said four months. You're fired. You're fired. No. We're bringing Nick in. No. Oh, I, I want to be on the pod. Yeah, let's just have Nick. Uh, oh, Nick think Ryan of how and peaceful I talk. it would be. Yeah, they would. We could talk about like things we like. Yeah, yeah. You can we get could, Zach in here. We you could talk have an actual Wars. conversation. Yeah. So we had the tasseling when you were 15. Then you had the the uh, long eight year gap. search for your soul. His gap years. His gap decade. You know. Yeah. I mean, the, out there in the wilderness. Yeah, I think going. And then you. He's finding himself. And then you worked for your town and you painted shit yeah. and whatever you were doing. You know, uh, maintenance and the right. guests. And then you worked at the Rocks. I, I worked for a game store for free for about two years. True. Yeah, you worked there and you you swept up and you were paid you were paid in Eldrazi. Well, I got paid. Basically, the reason why I ended up quitting was because they weren't willing to go from like bulk uncommons to bulk rares. Is that the bit that was in your phone? Well, I wrote it down. That's sure. his joke, yeah. No, uh, that was his joke. Because the you reason you quit is because you got a job with money. Yeah, you got a job with money. Uh, Instead of hanging out and sweeping and scraping jizz off the floor, or whatever the fuck you were doing, and getting paid in old playing cards yeah. you trading cards yeah you actually were like hey maybe i need yeah, to man, you know maybe I, I just a little bit currency. of money yeah bit busters bit busters no no, no. <laughs> we need to have a graphic anytime right, joe has right, a stupid right, bit right. instead of actually answering a question absolutely not Bitbuster. no that would be wrong that was bullshit <laughs> yeah. uh but i was gonna say there was a guy named Dick who would come in all the time and basically oh, yep. he looked and smelled like a caveman like he basically didn't shower for about a week and a half and basically, he would stand there and talk to you for like an hour, two hours, who knows. He had nothing to do all day. But there were basically only two topics that he had. He would either talk about wrestling or how he was married to Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Did he call her Hermione or did he know her real I, I don't do wizarding books. I, I don't know. You don't do a lot of things, Joe. Yeah. I mean, it adds to the story. If he thought her name was Hermione. <laughs> no, I think he probably called her the, the right character. name. Which is? Uh, Hermione. No. No. Hermione. Hermione. Oh, it's not that obscure. I don't. I haven't it's a, seen. It's a very common I haven't British read the books name. In like ten years. Joe hasn't read the books. Joe hasn't seen the movies. I saw the movies. I read the books. I read the books all the time as a child. I read them like thirty-five times. The first one. I think Joe just doesn't like new. He doesn't like change or no? new stimuli or anything. Yeah, yeah. No. But no, I was gonna say this. Which I get. Yeah. To an extent. <laughs> so is there like a um a wrap up? Is, is there a well, what we, have we learned today, yeah, Ryan? Yeah. Is, uh, Oh, God. I think we've gone for our, our, our usual time. Yeah, I mean, Ryan, do you want to talk about any jobs? 
Wait, Ryan hasn't you know been covered Maybe, in this yeah, no, no, let, no, no. Oh my god! I'm gonna let Tyler decide. We can we can put we can make a part two. This is shame this is I, shameful well, that Joe completely <laughs> I monopolized the time. Yeah, Tyler, I mean, I got, Tyler. I think I got plenty of stories. I think but. I think this is a wide considering Joe and Jobs is such a huge. Yeah, it was a big topic. Like, this is a, a lot this is like pack. the thing with Joe. So well, I, I gotta sit, I gotta sit here for an hour and uh, apparently twenty minutes <laughs> and edit your fucking voice. Oh, I'm disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my unfortunate. I was the one that was like, hey, let's let the guys listen to this. Let's take some notes. Let's see if maybe we need to change things up. You know, yeah. before more we more Buckley. Yeah, more Buckley. <sighs> no, <laughs> I don't know that that was anyone's notice. Brian, I'm Joe. sorry. <laughs> Yee-hee. It's okay. I'm saying we can do. Uh, we'll do episode 5.2. <laughs> yeah. Like those old DVDs where Spider-Man 2.1 would oh, come that's out or right. whatever. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There would be more web slinging action. This this could be a, a man with no brains first two-parter episode. Hell yeah, dude. So we can we can we can return to the subject for the next episode. Now I'll, I'll cover my side of it, and we'll also see if Joe. I do want to give you an assignment. Though. Oh, okay. A small assignment. Okay. okay. What's if it? this is what we're gonna do, I want you to between now and whenever we record again. Okay. I want you to go on uh, various employment websites okay. and find a few <laughs> I think I might in like. the area, in the area that you could realistic, you know that you realistically can do. Oh, okay. Don't look for stuff you'd like to do because you're not going to find anything. No. Look for stuff you might realistically do and bring it. Just give me three. Okay. Just find three. Yeah, that could be funny. Is that- I, I like to piggyback on that if I can. Um, do you have a resume, Joe? Uh, you get made me one at some point years ago, so I think oh. I'm still using that. Oh, did I? Yeah, you remember when I got so fucking angry at you that I like anger made you a fucking resume? Yeah. yeah. I think I may still be using that. <laughs> okay. Well, I still have it on my computer, so I'll bring it okay. next time. Cool. cool. We, we can update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your marching orders for okay. whenever yeah. this is yeah, going to be. Do that. You you have I would assume at least a week. Probably, probably something probably. That, time, yeah. that is a hilariously long amount of time to find three jobs that you could do. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll try yeah. to do that. Just, just three that you you, re, you honestly read and you're like, eh, yeah, I, yeah, I could probably. <laughs> I could pick up hay. I don't know. I don't know that you could do this uh, tonight. Mm, yeah. And uh, be done. Tonight, tonight, I've got some chicken to eat. But I'll maybe get on this uh, tomorrow. You, it's twenty four. It's a website. You just scroll yeah. through. <laughs> no. You put in keywords. I, you put in keywords. Okay. Prostitute, uh, silver slipper worker. Now don't guy who looks calm. Don't don't you dare <laughs> jump in front of my joke for next time. Okay. <laughs> you fucker. What was the last one about? Just, <laughs> guy who looks calm. calm. God. Okay. That's a job. See, See this is the kind of shit that's going to keep you know, It's partly off. Mm-hmm. I laugh at the shit and whatever. Yeah, I think you it's funny. give them a fucking platform. What do we expect? I know, but I have to lie in bed naked and eat chicken. That was my plan for the night. When you're, you can do this, you can do it at the same time. No, I also have to be listening to YouTube videos about Evangelion. You don't, but. That, that, it goes into the plan, yeah. I'll have to put. Reference for six people. No, everybody loves Eva. No. Fuck off. All right. Well, there you have it. There, uh, there is episode five of the Man with No Brain. Yeah. Uh, it's a two-part episode. We didn't realize it was going to be, but it's going to be a two-part episode. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, the theme of this podcast is trying to explore different facets of Buckley. I think we've cracked open your skull a little uh, bit more and kind of gotten into more psychology of you and how you're lazy. I, well, I'm not lazy. I think the people are going to like this. I'm, yeah, I'm chilling. I like chilling. Joe, Joe, Ryan's wrapping up. Okay. <laughs> Buckley, you got me. <laughs> you got my fucking dandruff. I, I suckered and fuckered you. God. <laughs>